And time now to head down to Port St. Lucie and bring in Steve Gelbs and Anthony DeComo. Steve, Buck Showalter has yet to name an opening day starter, but choosing between a guy who has won three Cy Youngs and a guy who has won three Cy Youngs is a pretty good problem to have. Yeah, not bad. And we thought that it probably couldn't get much better than choosing between three Cy Youngs and two Cy Youngs last year. But somehow the Mets find a way to upgrade that this offseason with the signing of Justin Verlander. And, you know, you guys hit on a lot of interesting things. And, and we'll talk about the verlander a relationship in a little bit as well. But before we do, I think it's worth noting that, at least for me, today we speak to Justin Verlander at his locker in the Mets clubhouse. We speak to Max Scherzer, who we've now gotten to accustom, uh, accustomed to wearing a Mets uniform, and you just realize, I mean, how much has changed here with two of the greatest pitchers, not just still in the game, but of the generation wearing Mets uniforms. It's actually incredible you say that, Steve, because someone mentioned to me on the backfields today when they were watching Justin Verlander, and he basically said, I can't believe that this guy's here in a Mets uniform. And I thought to myself, I can. Like, the novelty of that sort of thing has worn off, which is a pretty amazing thing if you're a Mets fan. The novelty of just bringing on a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer has worn off. They do it every offseason now. And so to see the two of them together, it, it's really cool. It's a really good thing. This is who the Mets are now. And that's, that's what's actually the really cool thing. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable to see and, and to think back on on how different things are right now with those two at the top of the rotation. And the one question mark beyond the health, though, is the relationship between the two, as, as you guys were alluding to. And, you know, neither one of them has denied that there was some friction there in the past when they were in Detroit, but both have made it plain that this will not be an issue here, that there are different stages in their careers, different stages in their lives. Both have used that terminology. And, you know, I believe them. I think when you, you get these two hyper-competitive guys, Tony, that really at this stage in their career only want one thing, and that's to win at least one more championship, I don't see a way that that relationship becomes an issue for this team. Yeah, and you know what I thought was interesting and probably a good sign was that Scherzer in particular not only didn't deny that there was some iciness between them in the past, he kind of acknowledged it. He kind of said that, yeah, maybe our relationship wasn't the greatest back in the day in Detroit, uh, but clearly they have gotten over whatever it was. And yes, they both use that line. They're in different places in their careers, different places in their lives. They've got five children combined now. They've got six Cy Young Awards combined, an MVP, three World Series titles combined. So they've got a lot bigger fish to fry than whatever happened when they were 24, 25 years old. And I think also there's an acknowledgement from both guys that, hey, you're a future Hall of Famer. I'm a future Hall of Famer. Maybe we can put our heads together and, and figure out ways to get better because that's what both have done throughout their careers since they left each other. Why not pick the brain of someone who's one of the few people on earth who's as good as you are at this thing. And that's the key there, and we'll have much more time to talk about this as the spring goes on, but these are two guys who have evolved and continue seemingly to get better in certain aspects, having the two of them on their staff at the same time. It can only be beneficial in terms of both of their continued growths, and they do view themselves as both being on paths, continuing to grow and get better, shockingly at this point in their career. Guys, back to you.